Welcome to day 27 of the 30 day to make an iPhone game challenge. Okay, apology. Uh, I haven't actually done a video each day as I said I would. So today, um, I'm going to give the features out I would have over the last three days. Um, and just a little bit of information, because this is kind of a, a social challenge as well. Um, you know, as for the 30 day challenge. I am working shift as such, so the last couple of days I've been working and I will still be working, well I was working today and I will be working tomorrow on the Sunday and on Monday, so the only free day I've actually got will be the 30th day. Um, but I will be working on a small bit on all, all, all the days. Um, and obviously to add on to this and what I have been doing on previously on this challenge, um, I have been doing my social life as normal. So seeing the girlfriend and friends and so on. So I've only been really been working on the game late evening or early morning, should we say? Anyway, let's jump straight on. What I'm going to do is jump straight to the last feature and show you some footage, so you don't have to hear me ramble for any more longer. And if you want to hear some more rambling or um, factual information about the game, you can hang on after the video, where I will tell you about the human characters in the game the monster enemies, the different locations you'll find in the game, and maybe a bit more. Okay, here's a video of about midway throughout the game. As I said, graphics aren't finalised yet, nor is anything. Anything can change over the next three days. I'll just start it from the beginning. Okay, one thing I should point out is the backgrounds going from, going from chapter to chapter won't change because I've only just gathered the art from and it's not in the game yet. Secondly, the the screen, um, the brightness will fade out because I've also haven't put in the code yet to tell it not to. Okay, this is the tutorial level, in which case you can just um, go ahead and collect the crystals, but you can um, listen to them tell you what to do as well. And also what you will see in the final game is at the moment, um, if you fly behind where these cat is talking here, you won't be able to see yourself, so they'll be set to a transparency soon. Well done, okay, Go -Go. this is chapter two. I see there's no notice in between yet. First enemy appeared. And second. Okay, on the chapter three already. The other thing I should note is, I've for this demonstration I've said you only need to collect three crystals to get to the next chapter. In the actual game, the first will be ten, and they will progress even fives or ten. Um, and depending on your difficulty, um, hard mode you have to get twice as many, and in Pro mode, you have to get three times as many crystals um, as on easy mode. Again, I've just got myself stuck behind this slow blue guy. So, uh, worst things have happened. Again, I'm playing this with one hand and I'm holding up a camera with the other, so the con uh, I won't be able to show off too much. Um, but you can, once you've played the game around a bit, do some cool moves. It all works by force. That is adoration. Okay, now on the final version, which you will see in a, a, yeah, a couple of days' time, of course, um, on these first couple of levels, you see the city behind me, um, you'll see it go from daytime to evening to night. Um, if I have some extra time, I may even put. Um, some basic weather effects like clouds coming across the top or rain coming down but we'll see and if it doesn't make version one I'll put that as a update. Hope you enjoyed that video now on to the information okay there's four human characters in this game I'll show you them now we have Rayawar
we have Cora. We have Sakura. And we have Zodi. Okay, they're the human characters, which you hear speak in the game and so on, and tell little tidbits of the story. Rhea was the main hero of the game. He's stories you follow throughout start to finish, the other characters going in and out. Korra is Rare War's main friend, um, as part of the their team as well, alongside Korra, who is the brains of the bunch, um, although not too good on the fighting. And finally, Zodi, he is the nasty guy, the enemy, the boss, um, and he has plans on, um, in generic bad guy way of dominating the world and unleashing evil upon it. Um, which would introduce the next character which is called Louvguile. And he's also on the touch screen at the moment. Anyway, next feature is locations. The locations you'll see in this game are your starting city in Morning, Eve, and Night. You see inside a plane. You go in a temple. You go in a cave. You go to Tokyo City, which looks different to the other cities. And there's a post-a post-apocalyptic um, city as well. And I think I think that's all the locations. Okay. Next we have the monsters which you'll be avoiding as Gogo, -Go, which you would have saw on the clip. Um, there's five of them total, ranging, you know, from the easiest to the hardest. And you see more of the easiest and less of the hardest. Um, and they vary depending on which difficulty you choose and how far in the game you are. Okay. They do have names, so I'll quickly read them out for you and show you who they are on the screen. Okay. We have Triancel. Wheelian. Schooler. Trucantial and Dominial. What I do want to say at this point now is I'm so pleased of how this has gone that I'm actually going to put this as a paid application um, because again I've bought some applications from the store where I honestly think the quality of this game is better. Um, but what I'm going to do is put on one of the lowest bracket prices. I'm not in it to, you know, rip anyone off. And as you see, do you've seen it being made, you know if this is something you would want to play in your, your time or not. And the other thing I want to do is carry on some video features telling you what sort of numbers it's getting um, and the activity that entails as such because I before this challenge I was looking around to find this sort of information that I couldn't um, so if you're interested in following that you don't have to buy it at all um, but look out for videos after this challenge uh, to see how, how well it does or how bad it does and basically yeah and we can follow that through and I will try and you know uh, market it or advertise it for free in various ways in the web and tell you how that goes and what's the best way and what's not. Anyway, that's all for now. See you later.